so oh at, after that uh, initial rally and kind of the the first when you're starting to go to the cities was there ever you know it was still country still under martial law at that time oh yes and was although there although officially or yeah on paper marcus said he had lifted martial law but sure but he's still ruling that way yeah. was there a threat that you might be imprisoned or you know for your oh, work anything could happen yeah, yeah anything could happen at that uh, time yeah so what else is new i'm saying yeah <laughs> it was happening constantly yeah. and how did you develop, you, you mentioned that Ninoy had been reading Bonhoeffer and Martin Luther King and, and your own... Uh, Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal and, and, and Gandhi. Gandhi, yes. Uh, well, he was reading so many things. Yeah. So many good he had also, I remember you mentioning uh, Victor Frankl, and yeah. he had also uh, yeah. told me about all, uh, all the books that he had read. Because he had so much time. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really more a question of me getting him as many books as he wanted. And so whenever our friends would ask, what can we send him? I said, well, could you send him a box? And which box? i tell them, look at Time Magazine and look at whatever's on the bestseller list, both on the fiction and nonfiction, and yeah. he would appreciate that. And for the, like, one of his lawyers, one of his chief lawyers, uh, was a Protestant and uh, very well read on the writings of Christians and so he, had, he was the one who introduced my husband to Bonhoeffer, and I suppose, I guess, I don't know who introduced him to Viktor Frankl, but sure. um, then my mother-in-law was a very religious woman, so she had sent him Imitation of Christ. And so it was, um, as I said, maybe God's way of, and in fact my husband had written that, that in the past he had been so busy because of his... Um, being a public official, and um, he was also very much uh, concerned that he uh, succeed in, in his political ambition, that he forgot to thank God for all the good things uh, that had happened to him. So it was in prison when he finally uh, realized that uh, he had to ask for God's forgiveness, and that um, he found God in prison. How did you, once you came into this position where the opposition was uniting around you and against Marcos, how did you, uh, how did you come to your own love for nonviolence? And I, I assume that was happening okay. long before that, but how did you come to your love for nonviolence? Well, I guess it, from the very beginning, uh, I've never been into violence. And um, also, when we were living in the United States, my husband had gone to Nicaragua and to find out exactly uh, what had happened there. And he was convinced that um, no way can we Filipinos resort to violence because uh, what good will the restoration of freedom be if you will have so many widows and orphans crying and um, in pain because of having lost uh, their husbands or their fathers. Yeah. And so when my husband was um, assassinated and when, when in fact uh, around two million people uh, joined us in the funeral procession, later on some of the, well, I guess they call them sort of leaders of the opposition were saying that I missed my golden opportunity. I said, what do you mean? Well, they said that at that point I could have asked people to do anything and they would have done so. And he said, you should have led them to Malacanã and we could have taken over. And I said, oh no. Uh, that is not my way, and uh, what guarantee do we have that first, how many people would be killed? And then, would in, we in fact have succeeded? I mean, these are all unarmed uh, people, and uh, I am no, uh, that was never uh, my thing. And even um, during, well, during the campaign, uh, some people were also saying, why don't you go to Malacanang and uh, challenge? The I said, no, no, that's not my way, mm -hmm. and we will just have to do it this way. Uh, Nonviolence is a slower uh, way of doing things, but in the end, the results will be more lasting than if you are able to accomplish the things in a hurry. Mm -hmm.